It's strange, man. We back. One more game. We got a DJ Ghost. It's a story time about one cat was stealing somebody, stealing his partner's shoes. I seen it before though. Multiple times. Hey. All right, so it was like this, my nigga. Okay. This happened up in the sixth grade, you know what I'm saying? I was going to John Muir Middle School up in yep. LA. So when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really have a lot. My mama, she was doing her thing up in the streets, but she couldn't really have niggas fly all the time. And like a year before that, nigga, my daddy had just went to jail for murder. So it was really hard for motherfuckers to really stay like on point like we did when he was up, you know? So when I was going to school, I was going to school, nigga, my mama had me going to school with some sacks. Can you believe that shit? You I know what sacks is? Sacks. And some breaking the rim? Sacone, if y'all remember what's a Hey, whoa, are, whoa, right? whoa, 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 whoa. See, listen. I never had a, so many commonalities, right? Absent parent, Mom's there on her own, multiple kids, no sister, so it was all boys. It was a little rougher where I was at. Well, not to say it was any rougher than cut shit, because I feel like we all live in the same little, you know what I mean, spirit, like, you know what I mean? But I, I didn't have no shacks, but I did have Sacconi's bro, and we not about to put them on the same, nah. Shaq's, Shaq's and Sacconi's is not, Shaq was breaking the rim, bro. Shaq was, Shaq was balled up on there, like, um, Jesus, Sacconi's was kind of cool, low key, for us, you hear me? Oh. Nigga, I'm at school, my homeboy, one of my best friends, his name is Eugene. Like, this nigga was the total opposite. He had both, both motherfucking parents up in the household. He was always fly. He was cool as fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I was with him all the time. So when you look at him and I'm standing next to him, nigga, you, I just look like the bunny motherfucker at school, nigga. I ain't finna get no bitches. I ain't finna get no homegirls. I ain't finna be the popular nigga. Only reason I was popping, like, up in the sixth grade because nice everybody nigga. that was in the eighth grade, seventh grade, lived up in my neighborhood, and I was around that gang. Yeah, that's a fact. Bad -ass shit. That's a fact. That's the only way I was popular. But as far as, like, for the females to like me, nigga, all the bitches to like me, like, nah, nigga, I got the backpack with one strap. Hey, keep it a bean, though, bro. Like, I'm the same nigga, though. You hear me? In so many aspects. But just, I didn't game bang neither, though. That's not really my thing. But just hanging around, being a hooligan, like, wilding out on the street, doing whatever we doing. I was low-key popular, Kev, but the bitches thought I was cool, too, though. Low-key on some friendly shit, though. Not like really like I want to date him because I was really like a ugly little dude, too, though, but... Ah, we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about like, that. Like, not the ones that come with one strap, nigga. They had two the straps, but this was broke. Jazz, so I only had one strap, my nigga. You. you know what I'm saying? My fucking jeans, nigga, whatever. Sixth grade, I was fucked up. So, my nigga Eugene, he had these blue and black 13s. Fly in the motherfucker. Fire. You know, he came to school one day. I'm just like, damn. It's not like I envy the nigga. That was my best friend. I'm just like, man, I wish I had it like this. Like, okay. I used to really tell him, like, nigga, you was lucky. I knew at that age, like, money, you got to have money to survive in this motherfucking world. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got money, you ain't got shit. That's why, That's you know, fact. sixth grade, nigga, I was around there collecting cans, nigga, fucking mowing lawns, knocking on doors, trying to take a... Hey, bro, see, listen, another reason why I say let's do a reaction to this because I feel like there's so many points in here that I feel like we can build off of, right? For example, to be 11 years old, to be put in that situation, that's why he's so successful now, bro. Because at a young age, as he just said, okay, I understood that you need money to survive in this world, bro. And as, as a kid, bro, you know how many 11-year-olds you'll look around because they really ain't got no hustle about themselves, bro? They really don't need it. Their mind really didn't click in that fashion because it was not of a necessity, bro. Because he had to, bro. Today, that nigga's one of the greats, bro, at this shit, bro. Not even just at... It didn't matter if it wasn't reactions, bro. This nigga's gonna be somebody regardless, bro. You, I'm telling you, bro, I know. Certain niggas got it in them, certain don't, sir. Just so I can try to stay, like, nigga, yeah. let me get some money in my pocket. Already, I'm trying any and everything, bro. Something was gonna come through. Some money to go to the store. As you a know, kid, he didn't want to be no reactor, nigga. Nah, but it, you feel you me? Know, not because she didn't want to, it's just because we didn't have it like that. Like, mom finna give you $10 to go to school when we can put this $10 on the meal at night. What you talking about? And, like, to be I 100, my nigga, I understood that at 11 years old. Like, I knew my mama wasn't going to give me 10, or I wasn't going to be mad about the shit. How could So, you know, we at school, you know, back then, Jay's, Jay's now was probably like $200, but back then it was like $100. And we probably like two other niggas in the whole school had them shoes. So, me, I'm hot that I ain't got, I ain't mad at the homie, like, look, your mama got you some shoes, that's what's up, nigga, I ain't mad at that, nigga, I'm mad at myself, like, nigga, I'm looking like a bummy nigga in school, I gotta do something about it, like, for real, nigga. Facts. So, you know, we go to PE, and like I told you, that was my best friend, so we That's why I say, bro, right. that's why I say he was gonna be successful anyway, bro, because even at 11 years old, you should never have that type of pressure on you where you feel like, man, I gotta get some, I gotta make it, like, at 11, niggas don't think like that, bro, at 11, could they go ask their mom, or they dad, or, or, or they auntie, or they grandma, they never have the thought process of, I gotta change this up. 
I'm not finna be the bummish. Nah, nah. Moms can't do it. I see her struggling. Pops in jail. I understand. I got multiple siblings they trying to provide for. At 11 years old, bro, that's more than a regular child can bear, bro. And for him to something click and say, man, I'm finna turn into a hustler and go. I'm telling you, bro. Like, like, like pressure breeds diamonds, bro. Do my curious. locker combination. I know this nigga locker combination. That's how it was. I like so this. My favorite story ever done, bro. We out there, nigga. We dress up. Mine, we go in the locker room. Y'all know how it is, P.E. You go in there. Yeah. You take Chaz off your out. clothes. Green and white. Fuck ass P.E. uniform. Whatever Great color shirt. your school is. Go out there. You warm up. Fucking run your little laps. Whatever. So this day, my nigga, I went back in there like 10 minutes early. You know what I'm saying? I snuck off the field, went back in the locker room. Like, savage. That, nigga. The savage. The fuck is finna be mad at me? Because I'm finna take the homie's shoes, nigga. Straight Man. up. Not because I, I don't want him to have it, but because I want him to. I was him thinking too. about it like, no, I don't do it. Then when I open the locker, I'm like, bro, I need these motherfucking shoes. Love one. So that's what I did real quick, nigga. I put them up on my motherfucking backpack. Jeez. So probably like 20 minutes later, nigga, they shut everything down. But when I put them in my backpack, I threw it over the gate. You know what I'm saying? We well, it was a grip of little houses outside the <laughs> that school. That nigga game, was a scavenger. Pushes, so I threw my shit over the gate. Like, I'm yeah, going to get my shit after school. Nigga. And nine, nine times out of ten, he knew he could beat the homie up. So he only really, you know like, I love him, though. 20 minutes later, nigga, the teachers, the fuck, everybody, like, Where's Jordan's at? And you know, back then, Jordan's nigga, they was in. That's when oh, they God. really started getting popular. We finna make you know a big so, deal out of this, too. Where's Jordan's at? The Checking whole backpacks and all this type of shit. And you know how black people is, nigga. How you steal something, then you help the motherfucker look for That's it. That's a fact. That's what I did, my nigga. You know? Nigga, who took the homie's shoes, nigga? Because oh, I'm, nigga, I'm catching all face, nigga. <laughs> you know, I'm showing like, I like the him. Even though I know I'm I like you, bro. Whatever the case. Fast forward that day, nigga, yeah. I take the shoes home. My mama see him, she Wipe like, them what the down. fuck you get these Put shoes? the outfit out next to him, oh God. But you know, my mama a gangster, she ain't finna be mad. She just gonna tell me, like, nigga, you gotta stop doing this shit. You know, yeah. you're starting too early type shit. And you know, my mama, she was a tomboy, so I'm already planning. I'm dumb than a motherfucker. I'm 11 years old. I'm already planning where the shoes to the next day Dude. On my kids, nigga. So already, I'm like, nigga, I'm I telling you, bro. It's because it was no fear, bro. There's a reality that, like, you got two kids. I, you got two parents. I have no parents, right? Well, I have one. My mom, who's a tomboy, thugging, doing her thing in the streets. Me and my little brother, them already squabbling and all that. He said he already game banging on the block. So he pretty decent with the combos. For shiggity, Eugene ain't got to worry about none of that. Eugene going in there with moms and dads sleeping at night for three course meals. He know he could beat up Eugene. He ain't really, tr it's my man's. I don't want to, but what he going to do, kid? What he going to, like, you feel me? Savage. Like I said, see, my mama Savage. She was a gangster like a motherfucker. I'm being 100 with y'all. She was subscribe to that nigga channel, bro. So I go to her closet. She had some blue shorts, had a black tee, like something like this, nigga. A black pro club with them blue and black. Sh Let me show these shoes right here. Yeah, nigga, Yeet. those, nigga. I'm oh, like, yeah, I'm fire. Fly as fuck at school tomorrow. Yeah. So that's what I did, nigga. Dumb than a motherfucker. I wake up early in the morning. Nigga, you know how it's like the first day of school with me, yeah. even though we've been in school for like five months. That my new nigga, outfit changed. These shoes I just throw and I know they new. Nigga, I can't wait to get up to wear in the school, even though they the homies, even though I'm kicking with them. I'm like, nigga, so what? I'm gonna deny this shit to the fullest. Like, That's nigga, a fuck, as you should, shoes, nigga, what? back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So early in the morning, I wake up. <laughs> Eugene gonna fuck you up. Walk to school with my sisters, my brother, my older cousin. The whole everybody. team. Like, where you get them shoes from? I'm telling like. Listen, look, look he walking to school with it. It's him, his brothers. The homies in his what Eugene up there by himself. He walking with the whole pack of hooligans. When he took the shoes, he knew in his mind what is Eugene gonna do. He not knowing Eugene finna make a whole scene. We telling every we not. I'm not about to wait till we get around the corner, but you not about to beat me up, nigga. Hold on. This came up, nigga. Okay, I just came up. You know what I'm saying that's all I'm saying. <laughs> we get to the school. You know how before the bell Stupid rings, ass. everybody on the motherfucking yard. Yeah, the front. So, as soon as I step on there, everybody looking at my shoes like, oh, yeah, them fly with the boo But when I get, like, in the school, in the school, my nigga, What's I see my boy Eugene and loud than the motherfucker. What'd he say? He was with, like, two other motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Get my shoes, the real room up here, stole my shoes. I'm like, nigga, I love this story, bro. Shoes. Like, I'm trying to, nigga, I'm trying muffle, to muffle the sound. sound. Oh, dude, I shoes, like it. Woo, woo, woo. Like, these my motherfucking shoes. Security no. guards start coming, all no, this type of shit. The that. D's start coming. They're like, where you get them shoes from? I'm like, man, my mama bought me these shoes. Why? Oh, yeah. your mama didn't buy you. He, oh, my mama didn't buy me them shoes. You're lying. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop. I'm like, nigga, fuck you. I'm telling the dean, like, nigga, fuck you too. These my shoes, nigga. I press on. I'm about to go to class, nigga. I get in the classroom. Now three of them knocking on the motherfucking yeah, door. Yeah, bring like, your ass out here. Dean office, whoop -de -whoop -whoop. Jesus. 
I'm about to talk fuck. about this. You know what I'm saying? So we get to the dean office. They like, nigga, where you get the shoes from? Straight up. I'm like, man, my mama, mama bought me these shoes like two months ago. They like, your mama bought you the shoes. You ain't lying. I'm like, I ain't lying. They like, we gonna call the police, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no police. I'm 11 years old, but I'm knowing the law, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna really do shit. What I'm gonna do like two days, nigga? Fuck the police if they take me to jail. They not gonna take me to jail. So they get on the line with my mama. They tell my mama to come up here and buy some shoes. We'll do a boo. As soon as she get there, my nigga, they like, uh, did you buy your son these shoes? And that's why I love my mama, bro. She like, yeah, I bought my son the motherfucking shoes. What you mean? They like, do you got the receipt? She like, who keeps the motherfucking receipt? Who keeps the receipt? motherfucking receipt? Yaddy, yaddy. That's a good so response. Got one she fine. Coming up in there. She come with my cousin Quanda. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my mama and my cousin Quanda, they come to the dean office, come pick a nigga up. You got more people coming up in there. You got the teachers, the principal. My mama this my, this my favorite part. Watch what my mom say about the shoes, bro. This shit finna kill me, bro. OG, how you feeling, man? It's about that time? Yeah, I'm gonna give them these little keys. I gotta come back and grab the fridge. Though. It's unfortunate, man. Change is good. That's man. a fact, that's a Change fact. Change definitely comes with progress. Uh, what's going on, nephew? I see, hey, I seen y'all. I'm ready to give you a break so they don't even know. I'm gonna throw the scene right back on it. <laughs> and jump in there. Hey, listen. My man just okay, popped up. We ain't gonna be able to finish this reaction today. Uh, long story short, cut mom and them came, they told her. Take them punk ass shoes off, man. We're gonna buy you a whole nother pair. The story dope. The process uh in the mind frame of the song that created a hustle I thought was super duper dope. That was the whole reason why I wanted to do this, but the universe said today is not the day. Hey, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. You gotta request catch me on Instagram, bro. It's T underscore underscore F L Y. You hear me? Jeez. Hey, subscribe to that nigga channel too. He dope. I ain't gonna man, it don't, it don't cost no money to salute a nigga to say, damn, my nigga, your shit hot, nigga. Don't cost no money, nigga. You niggas like, like y'all got to pay to give a nigga love.